Y'all played your asses off this entire tournament. And now we're here in the finals, the game that decides whether we come out on top or we go home. Now I need to know, did you come this far to lose? No, no, sir, no, sir, no, 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 never. Well, too fuck bad. <laughs> Y'all, we don't have a shot. Listen, we're playing Bull Bull, so if you're guarding him, just stand aside, all right? All right. Bro, Bull Bull? Oh, no shit, bro. Ah. Shot. Who? Bro, forget whatever coach is saying. Let's get this dub. Nah, man, we're uh, we're losing for sure. Yes, yeah, yeah, we can't do this. Bro, what are y'all talking about right now? We can do this. How good could this kid really be? <laughs> How old is he? He's 11, our age. What the fuck? How? Is this better? Right here. Super close. Personal. Is this it? It's kind of sad because I can't really be loud or else, you know, people outside can hear it's awkward as fuck. Hmm? I don't know. Maybe I gotta hold it, hold it up here, maybe? I don't know. All right, so I just put a beanie on it and it's, uh, it's good, actually. Uh, let's get it. Fuck this guy. I hated playing against him. Like, how do you expect a team full of kids who can barely touch the net beat a 6'3", 11-year-old doing windmills? He looked like a giant praying mantis. He was like Slenderman, but instead of snatching souls, he snatched potential basketball careers. Whenever Bull Bull would step on the court, the crowd goes from this to this. Coaches would be at those games like women to Jack Harlow concerts. He really had my entire team wondering like, why even try when people like this exist? Because it's not like we were outplayed, all it was was this. At best, we got outplayed by genetics. This first one was definitely a tough one to take for my team because I think they just knew it was inevitable. But for me, I think it gave me a sense of purpose. It got me so hyped to play Bobo again because I knew that I could never let that happen again. This just became my redemption arc. I've gotten a bit bigger, a bit stronger. Touching the rim was light work. I completely forgot about playing Bobo. Two years is a long time, all right? But as soon as I saw him on the court looking like an athletic Jack Skellington, it was on sight. I knew this game was gonna be different because I decided I was gonna guard him myself. All right, don't worry, I got this. Yeah. yeah. Come on, man. Why is one of our shortest players guarding Bobo? It's like watching Steph Curry guard Giannis Antetokounmpo. It's embarrassing. Jackson, Will, take over. Uh, did you hear something? Nah, me neither. I got absolutely destroyed out there. It probably doesn't help that I could comfortably slide right in between his legs. Pause. The worst part is that he wasn't even trying. He looked bored because it was obvious that I couldn't match up. And at this point, I'm convinced that there's nothing I can do. But then I had an idea. So since he's as tall as he is, he can't be a point guard. Because as soon as he tries to dribble, it's getting stolen. So he's normally going to sit underneath the basket and turn my team into a highlight reel. So what I'm thinking is, somebody has to pass the ball to him in order for him to be effective. So if my team can just stop them from passing, then Bulbul Bul loses the reason why he's unstoppable. No ball, no points, no highlights. It's like playing keep away with Kevin Durant. What could go wrong? The plan is in full effect. Everybody knows who the ball is going to. And we can't allow that to happen. We started stealing the ball back to back. The plan was working. We finally figured out how we can win. We finally figured out how we can beat Bobo. At halftime, we're up by seven, but I noticed that they pulled somebody off the bench. And this is either a good thing or a bad thing. It's either this kid's terrible and he really needs playing time, or he's the last resort. Sometimes coaches will pull older players that they coach to play in a game against some younger players for a uh, practice. Like for real, I questioned whether I was playing against grown men or not. You know what? There actually was a team of grown men one time. I'm talking their kids were probably as old as we were. But regardless, we all knew what we had to do. All we had to do was just stick to the plan. All right, we got this. Let's just keep doing what we've been doing. Right. <laughs> no way. Hey, don't worry about it. Leave it to me. I got this. Uh, welcome to the highlight reel. We can barely compete against one top tier. We cannot handle two. Them two together destroyed us. Another game, another blowout, man. And you can call it what it was, which is bullshit. But that's just the way basketball was. I was even that guy once or twice. And those games are so much fun. Every team did it, it wasn't new. We just got unlucky, I guess. But I'm ready for my rematch. I was cheated out of victory once, and I feel like your ass owes me this. Oh, wait, uh, uh, hold on. Hey, you know what? Mm, let's just call it a draw. 